hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in previous video tutorial we had a, a, a overview on uh, inner classes in java in this video tutorial we'll see a practical example of a first type of inner class is called nested inner class and sometimes it is also referred as simply inner class so as i said said uh, you can write a class within the another class right so here you can see uh, an example already i have created here you can see i have created a class with name outer class and outer class you can have an access modifier like public or default either you cannot specify any access modifier or you can specify public that's these two access modifier is allowed but if you try to specify protected or private that is not allowed at all but if you define a class right inner class means here this class I have defined uh, in the scope of outer class itself. So this class is starting over here and closing over here. So this class is defined as a member of this outer class, right? So here, here you have uh, you can apply any kind of access modifier. Like either you can apply default is there already. You can even put public, private. Uh, even protected for inner classes all those access modified is allowed so private default protected and public you can allowed to put before this class name right if you are defining uh, inner classes then now what are the non access modified is allowed for inner classes of course so, so if you we talk about the non access modified then you can uh, uh, you can use like final abstract and a static these three keywords you can use uh, for the inner stat inner uh, classes but again when you use static then that is a fourth type of that you can s we will see separately then if you leave a static then of course you can apply final and abstract before uh, uh, inner class right now here uh, if you look into the outer class outer class is having one private variable one inner class uh, has been defined within the scope of outer class and there is a one method which is define in the outer class right so these all are the member of this outer class this variable this class as well as this method is the member of outer class right so now uh, all the variables like pr even private variable can be accessed by your uh, inner classes right so here you can see outer data i am trying to access in the method of the inner class which is called invoke and here i am trying to call the method right which is a public even that can be a private as well that directly you can call from within the uh, method of the inner class and that basically calling the outer class method right now thing is that how we can access this inner class from outside of the class right so here i have a client program i, I would like to access uh, let's say invoke method or uh, invoke method of uh, uh, this class because this is a pri uh, public so we can access outside of the class right so how we can do that so here i have a client program and there we have a main method so first of all you need to create an object of inner class so how we can create an object of inner class so as i said this is the member of outer class so this can be referred by the outer class so we can create an object like outer dot inner and you can give the object name let's say inner obj and here you will have to write new outer class dot new inner so that's the way to basically create a, a, a inner class object right sorry so here i don't know why this guy is not giving me auto support inner class and that's the way to basically create an object of inner class right now you have reached to inner class right from outer class dot inner class and here we have given the object name and this is the way to create the uh, new outer class object dot new inner class object now from this object you can refer the member of inner class now you can invoke we can call the invoke method right what happen if you call the invoke method then invoke method is going to print this and that is calling the default uh, sorry a display method now inside the display method suppose this is the outer uh, this is the basically uh, uh, method which we have defined inside the outer class right and from here also you can call the member of inner class right 
so here you can see i have created an object of inner class and try to access this variable even you can call the invoke method as well right and here we are trying to access this private uh, data of uh, inner class that is possible at all now if i run this application then here you can see the output now here you can see first of all invoke method is getting called and invoke method this print we are getting this output from this right so this value of this 1000 outer data is getting printed now display method is getting called and display method is printing this statement and finally we are accessing a private member of inner class by creating an object of inner class that is all possible right now now let's say uh, if you have a display method inside your inner class then which display method is gonna call like uh, uh, inner class you're starting over here closing over here let's define one more display method and uh, here i would say uh, i'll print one statement then which display method is gonna call right so in java as we know that always preference goes to the uh, local member right so in that case of course uh, local a member is this display so this display method will be called now if i run this application here you can see a local display method has been called but uh, sometimes if your requirement uh, if you have a local display method as well as outer class is having also a display method uh, still you want to call the outer class display method right so how we can do that so that we can refer by this outer class right so you will have to write outer class dot this that's the uh, that's the basically reference of outer class uh, and this is the way to call the this display method right so if i run this application now you'll be able to invoke the uh, display method of the outer class right so now thing is that how many i mean you have a outer class and you have a inner class so how many dot class files are getting generated for this so here uh, there would be uh, of course uh, dot class file for this outer class outer class dot class and what about the inner class so in for inner class there, uh, there is a there is a separate dot class file will be generated a name of that dot class file would be outer class dollar inner class dot class if you want to see uh, those uh, dot, dot class file then let's go to the this directory where we have uh, this project right so press windows r and go to this directory paste this location and uh, he'll reach it reach out on this location here we have a bean tag right com then infotech client and here you can see a dot class file for out, outer class outer class and dot class file for the inner class outer class dollar inner class that's the name basically naming convention followed by the jvm to generate the uh, dot class file for inner class and of course we have another class is called client test so there will be a separate dot class file for that but here you will have to keep in mind how dot, dot class file is generated getting generated for the inner class so outer class name dollar inner class name uh, dot class right that file will be generated so most of the things i have covered about the inner classes in java how we can uh, uh, define a nested inner class and uh, what are the member variable of outer class can access by the inner class and what are the uh, and how we can access the member of uh, inner class from the outer class uh, th those stuff we have already covered so i hope you understood uh, understood everything right so that's all i have in this video tutorial next video tutorial we'll see next uh, uh, i mean inner class type that is called method local inner class and guys big thank you for watching this video and this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any doubt or any confusion then please uh, let me know through the comment section so that's all i have in this video and see you there in the next video tutorial